You might notice that I am wearing a Florida Gator sweatshirt. That's because it's where I went to college, but it's also where our amazing artists that we are learning about today went to college, which I think is very cool. We are going to be learning about the artist James Rizzi, and this project is gonna be taking us two weeks. So if you're doing this project from home, remember, if you don't finish it this week, don't worry, you have two weeks to work on this project. So come back to this same video next week if you didn't finish from this week, okay? Before we get started, let's do our mantra. Ready? Repeat after me. I am positive. I am creative. I am mindful. I am amazing. And I am an artist. Before we get started on our project, let's learn about our artist that this project is inspired by named James Rizzi. You ready? James Rizzi is a pop artist who was born in 1950 in Brooklyn, New York. He is most famous for his colorful, friendly cities. You might notice his cities have lots of fun details, like crazy faces and silly things in the background. He called his cities friendly cities because he wanted them to look fun and inviting. We are gonna get started with our piece of paper in landscape, which means that it is horizontal rather than vertical. I'm gonna start by making my skyline by making a bunch of rectangles that are close together and touching and then adding some different shapes for the roofs of my building. I could add circles, triangles, any types of fun shapes for the roof. Now I'm gonna add a second layer behind my original skyline. This is gonna make it look like there's even more buildings behind those buildings. And I'm gonna add those same roofs on the top going to make sure that they're all different shapes so that they don't all look exactly the same. Next, I'm going to look at this sheet and I'm going to pick out some fun details like faces and windows that I'm going to add to my buildings. You can pause the video here if you want to take a screenshot to get ideas from the faces and windows. You can use faces, windows, and details from this example sheet, or you can make up your own silly faces. You might wanna think about giving each building a different emotion just for fun. You can make a grumpy face, a happy face, a sad face, a surprised face, a scared face, a silly face. Think about all the different ways that you can make your faces look really silly and fun, just like James Rizzi. Once every single building has a face, I'm gonna go back and add some windows. You can go back and look at the sheet of examples to come up with some different ways to make windows or you can use windows from your own imagination. Once I decide what shape and details of the window I want to put on that building, I'm going to continue with my windows until the whole building is filled with that same shape windows. That makes it look like a skyscraper with lots of windows. You can make windows in squares, triangles, circles. You can make some windows bigger, some windows smaller. You can add lines inside the windows if you want to give them details. And if you want to get extra creative, you can even add little people inside of your windows or little surprise details peeking through your building's windows. Once you're done with all your windows, you can look back at your sheet of paper and look at the extra fun details you could add. You can add things in the sky like a sun, clouds, airplanes, a blimp, 
birds, anything you can imagine. And if you have room at the bottom of your paper, you can add details like trees, cars, people on the street, anything you want. I'm also adding some fun details like swirls, hearts, and stars throughout my entire city to make it look more fun and friendly, just like James Rizzi. You can add anything you want. Now that I'm done in pencil, I'm going to trace in black. I'm using a black Sharpie, but if you don't have a black Sharpie, you can use a black crayon, black colored pencil, or black pen. If you have lots of tiny little details, you might want to use something that has a fine point. So if you have a thin Sharpie, a pen, or a colored pencil, that might work better for making sure that your tiny details show through and don't get covered up by the thick Sharpie. Now that all my details are traced in black, it is time to start coloring. I'm using crayons to color, but you can use anything that you want, such as markers or colored pencils. One thing that I like to do when I color is first outline every building in a thick, dark line. This works especially well if you're using crayons or colored pencils. This gives it a little bit of a border and makes it stand out. And then you can color in the inside of the building much lighter. Make sure that you're following the lines very carefully and not accidentally coloring on top of the windows or doors that you might want to cover, color a different color. I'm making sure to use bright and vibrant colors, just like James Rizzi. Once you're done coloring in all the buildings, you can color in all the little extra details and make sure that you color in the sky too. You can make it look like it's nighttime, daytime, or even sunset or sunrise, as long as you make it look like it is a sky. Once you're all done with your sky, then you're done. Great job, artists. I know that this project has a lot of little details and I wanna make sure to give you guys enough time to get it just right. So you have two weeks to work on this project. If you don't finish today, come back to this video next week, rewatch the parts where maybe you left off and make sure to send me a picture of your artwork after two weeks. So when you are done with this project, send me a picture on Teams or on email. And remember, you have two weeks to work on your amazing James Rizzi cityscapes. I can't wait to see them. Bye everyone.